Good morning. This is Cheryl at Sea Spirit Tarot. And um, I have so many responsible things to do, which is like so difficult for my Piscesness. My ball is crooked. Um, but I have just been, since yesterday, wanting to do a spread of the general consciousness of the world. Of the world. So I'm going to do a spread. I'm, I'm going to do two spreads. I don't know if I'll get them both done right here together, but it's got these horrible things I have to look into, like insurance and stuff. I just is not a real hot topic of details that I enjoy. I wish I had someone to decipher those things for me, but I don't. So I'll procrastinate and do a tarot read, which I was really called to do. And what I'm going to read, and this is, we're in Anthony this month, aren't we? This is Anthony's card overview. It's not a final spread. And the positions, spirit in the middle, I'll, I'll call those as I go. Anyway, I just wanted to get kind of an overview of what was going on. And um, then the other one I might look at, a, a deeper overview. So... Central, the, the situation that's going on in the world. And I got the King of Wands. I don't have any backlights on this time, which would only tend to reflect anyway, I think. King of Wands, master of the soul and all his elements. But the, the difference with this king of wands when well, he's not different i mean but this is a king of wands to be emulated or whatever that word is to become like is with integrity he has his four elements balanced he has his soul balanced he is a wand so he's fire but he has his kingdom and he is a role model for others so spiritually, this is where we're trying to get. This is where we're trying to get. We've just been told so many things, and there's so much gaslighting and so much cognitive dissonance going on right now, and so much fear. And we need some, plus this fire is not very stable. We need to burn out the old. You know, use our power to create our new kingdom. The second, and that would be spirit. That would be, yeah, spirit. Okay, the card number two is the water card in the, the wheel. And it is the past. It is the triggers. And it is the fool. And I see the fool as the all, you know, and the fool is the pan. Fool, some people call it reckless entry. But also, also, it is everything. It is entry of the pure spirit into the material realm. And we've done this. And we've chosen to be here right now. And, and, and learn our karmic lessons and help others along. But there's much fear associated with this. You know, especially in America. Foolish. You're a fool. You know? When actually, you can look at the fool as an owl with two big eyes, right? The word. So, uh, what I talked, said before about cognitive dissonance and uh, gaslighting, you know, stand behind the short wall. These, these are triggers. And that was actually what it was, past triggers. There's triggers coming in, and you can use triggers in two ways. You can use a trigger to enlighten an aspect within you, or you can use a trigger to superficially jump into an emotional response which would not be maybe so well using your free will to create what you need. The fool. Spirit of the air. Three, the future projected. Beautiful. Red card. Strength. We are our own strength. And I write that. Uh, courage and responsibility, but turning into ourself. 
Now, this word's going to come up again when I get to the end of the spread, and that is Babylon. Babylon, in, in some places, is, is described as, as the gate. Okay? But the strength card, the strength card in the Thoth deck is, is the woman riding on the back of the lion that has mastered herself, has balanced, is at service, is at love, and is the whore of Babylon. So, we are here to, what did I just say? And I'm trying to, I'm so crazy at this. Turning into myself, I wanted to remember those words. Turning into myself in pure surrender, not, not sacrifice. We don't have to do that guilt trip anymore. But turning into myself into the one. Pretty card. Pretty card. Major Arcana. So, so far we've had two Major Arcanas and a King. The fourth card is the now, is the North. What we know has been consciously going on or domineering the situation. And this is the page of disc. Should have been putting them over here, huh? The page of disc. And, and a key word I got from um, Sanskrit Blue is grounded potential. But basically, this is, to me, this is the manifestation of the soul coming down to the earth, into physicality, where the rubber meets the road, meets the road, where the, the moccasins touch to the earth. Manifestation of the soul often associated with Sandophon, Archangel. But in my head, the first thing that came out was Kathumi. Kathumi, one foot in the front of the other. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Those unfamiliar with Kathumi, Kathumi is an ascendant master that likes to give his teachings in humor. He's the guy that's going to bring up the bag, the back the garbage truck, up to you and have you dump all your soulful, guiltful garbage into the garbage truck and he'll tote it away. Pretty funny. I love Kathumi. Keep walking. Keep walking. And, and that's what this is about. Our manifestation staying in our body. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. The fifth card, which is the southern card, <laughs> unconsciousness feelings, things we don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. This is the lovers. We have um, one, two, three, three major arcanas, one king, one page, and then another major arcana that was left behind, bottom of the deck, however you want to say it. So uh, what we don't know is because we have been closed off. You know, just as all through, all through the eras, the great leaders have used astrology, but they don't want the, but they tell the common people, astrology is a sin, and astrology is the devil, when actually astrology is a map of how to navigate your life. Just like the Book of Law, the, the Tarot, the Path, the um, journey of the hero, journey of the fool to the hero. The answer is unconditional love. Open our pineal glands. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Don't get so caught up in all this BS and hate and discontent. Don't be triggered. We are the way showers, the midwives in. And if we trigger and jump, they're not going to learn not to trigger and jump. I personally cannot even be on Facebook right now, except I post like a horse picture or something on my personal page. And I post a minimum of once a day on my business page, which is C Spirit Self Healing. 
but uh, that energy is not for me. I'm here as a way shower. And that's the unconsciousness that, that we need to help all understand. It's unconditional love. It's not unconditional division, unconditional hate. But before we can unite and have all this unification of all one, especially on this 3D timeline we're on right now, we must become sovereign. Sovereign within ourselves and love ourself and then radiate that by our beingness out to the world. Because right now, the powers that be that are playing their own deck, they got a grip. But if people would sit back and look and look at both sides or don't look at either sides because it, the only way that you are going to influence what is going on in the world is through your own being and your own radiating, your own breathing, your own breathing. I feel like you can pray for the fires in Australia all day, but you sit, they need to have a more energetic message, and I'm kind of following that. Send the water the word welcome. Of course, I do water altars, so that's where I'm going. And that's love. I'm not putting... The energy is here to serve you. But given the energy and agenda, in my opinion, from where all I've studied all my life and where I'm at, limits it. Versus just letting the energy become itself. Because once you give it the word, it is the word. And that's what it is. And it could backfire on you. But if you let the energy, the energy knows what it's doing and let it go. Now the card that was left, the bottom of the deck, wasn't really the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck was Hanging Man, which I think is that card again, Maya, whatever they call him, tarot card for the year or whatever. But then I looked up and laying on the magic, the magic and lightning purple disc, <laughs> was the hair font. It's a five of change. It's another major arcana. I want to say, being a novice, coming back to the tarot. So much light in here. Coming back to the tarot, I bought this Marielle because it just looked like something I'd want down the road. I put it away. I put it away for like four or five months while I got kind of going. This is... The two cards that they took out for the second edition, this is one of them, but there might have been more than two, I don't know. And this is one of my very favorite cards. And the reason it is one of my very favorite cards, and I'm actually going to pull this and anything else I need to out of here because I marked it. Okay, the hair font. Now, to many, this card will be very blasphemous. To any, to those that believe that you need to look outside yourself for something, and that's the whole thing with all this gaslighting and falseness going on in the world. It's more important than ever to look inside yourself. Now, here again, we have the whore of Babylon. She represents people who fear fear their own power. She's a devil to those that have visions, fear the visions of their true self, are the, the, the fear of the, are the uninitiated. But my favorite part of this card, my favorite part, these two grotesque babies she is suckling are the harlots and abominations of the earth. Basically the thing that we have let grow and grow and grow by believing what has been told to us, by by eating the food and drinking drinking the Kool Aid that closes off your your third eye, that closes off, off your your throat chakra, closes off your whole spiral, the whole trip that you're on that you came here to Earth to do. You came here to Earth to release this and to help release this in others. 
And I just love that. I'm going to read it one more time. Harlots and ab ab abominations of earth. And you know what? She's suckling them with love. Because I already told you, love is the answer. Love is the unconsciousness coming that people are not conscious of. Babylon means, I'm going to throw this in here, gate of the gods. Hierophant means revealer of the sacred. Mystery means secret writer doctrine. From Greek, mysterio, one who has been initiated. And upon her forehead was a name written. Mystery, Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of earth. These cards follow... For, for a bit of it to me, and I, I'm a new novice, um, Crowley, the Thoth, where we're working in the new eon of Aquarius, I mean consciously working, I realize all the cards evolve into that, but this is probably where we need to look into ourselves and be the very most aware that we can be to turn ourselves into ourselves. And the planetary, this is what, this is what's happening. We're in a one, once in a lifetime of planetary configurations, okay? And become the king of wands of our own mastery, of our own kingdom, the sun, the, the fire, sun, soul, source, who we really are. And, and you could look at that, you could look at your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon, and, and maybe have your chart done also. You came in, whoa, these cards are so slick. I've had, they're too big for my hands, my arthritic little hands. So I've had to shuffle them like this. And they have just been, I mean, card slinging all day. Came in a manifestation, came in in wholeness, came in complete, came in innocent. Okay. This thing just goes together. Feet hit the ground. We're going through it. But the answer is unconditional love for ourselves and others. And not to be controlling others either. The two cards, let's see, I was going to pick a, I didn't pull a priestess. So I was going to pull a priestess from here. And I think I'll pull the priestess of strength of turning into our real self, knowing who we are, and spending the time to find out. Not being, uh, people are flipping out out there because things just aren't going their way anymore. And, um, and that's on every level. Everybody has a discontent out there. They just can't all identify it. The Acturian card for today is forgiveness. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Forgive yourself. Because when you came in here, as as were the, the and the teachings that you received, you knew no better. But we are learning now. Let this card here Activated neurotransmitters in your brain. Forgiveness. Forgiveness for yourself. Because until you forgive yourself and become whole, you can pray and forgive to everybody forever. But the energy needs to be coherent when it goes out. And my Ganesh card, which are my inspiratory raise your vibration cards, is Revelation. And I think this is really beautiful. I should have done so much better with this camera today. Everybody's kind of been calling me on the phone. I mean, procrastinating going through this healthcare stuff. I apologize that the pictures I'll do better next time. I don't want to say sorry. I've noticed somebody goes, oh, I'm sorry about the glare. I'm sorry. But you know what? It is what it is. And the energy is here to serve me. And this is what I got. Revelation, that we may all have a revelation. 
to turn into ourselves. Forgive ourselves. Then we will heal the earth. Then we will assist others to raise their vibration so they can heal themselves. Okay, that was long. 20 minutes. God is blessed. Much love. Peace be with you on your day. Thank you for listening if you did. This is the School of Cheryl. I'm doing this for myself.